In today's video, we're going to explore the interesting history of a community called Bee Spring. In the early 1800s, a small group of settlers explored northeast of Bryson, Tennessee, and came upon a high spring. And that water still runs to this day. In fact, we're going to see that very Bee Spring right now. Sweet and refreshing, the spring became a focal point of the community. And it got its name Bee Spring because of the bees that seemed to always hang around the water source. And still to this day, people come from miles around to fill up on this amazing water. Thanks to this abundant water source, the town was ready to expand. Homes, a school, a blacksmith shop, and word had spread about the uniqueness of this free-flowing spring. In fact, one traveler through the area thought he had the perfect idea. He was going to build a distillery and use the water source. He started asking around town about purchasing the land for this project. And after one long day's journey, he decided to spend the night with a friend who was a local in the area, and he told him all about his idea for the distillery. That friend was the Reverend Elam Stevenson, and he's coincidentally my great-great-great-great-great-grandfather. Now, Grandpa Elam wasn't really thrilled when he heard about the plan for the distillery, being a reverend. So what did he do? Well, the next morning, he got up very early while the traveler was still asleep, and he went out and bought the property himself. But, oddly enough, he went ahead and built a distillery himself. Hey, no, uh, he didn't. I'm just kidding. <laughs> he built a church. He built the United Methodist Church at Bee Spring. And throughout the 1800s, all the way up into the 1850s, the church would be expanded three different times to accommodate all the worshipers. So how is it? Good? Good? Like it. Nice and clean. The spring comes all the way down the hill. Down the hill. In 1875, Reverend Elam would pass away, and both he and his wife Lydia are buried here in the Bee Spring Cemetery, which sits on the original location of the church that he started so long ago. From the late 1800s into the early 1900s, the community at Bee Spring continued to flourish. In fact, this photo is from a wedding that took place at Bee Spring in 1901. Generations had been born, lived, and died in the Bee Spring community. But in 1909, everything would change. On April the 29th of 1909, the community of Bee Spring was nearly destroyed completely by an F4 tornado. These series of tornadoes from the April the 29th through May the 1st would bring about the most destructive tornado in Giles County history and second in Tennessee history. 60 people in all were killed in Tennessee, 22 in the small community of Bee Spring. Both town churches were completely destroyed, and most homes gone as well. Many of those who died were buried in Bee Spring Cemetery and are there today, including one family of nine that was buried together. Many families lost loved ones that day, and it almost impacted Lori's family that we spoke of earlier. In fact, one of her ancestors' children played a prank that kept them from being able to return home that fateful night. And it would have put them directly in the eye of the storm. Despite everything that the community had went through, they were determined to rebuild. 
and rebuild they did. Their homes, businesses, the school, and the United Methodist Church would all spring back to life. Bee Spring, even in the 1950s, was the first campaign stop for the future governor of Tennessee, Frank Clement. Unfortunately, though, the community never really did get over that fateful day in 1909. The school would burn down in the 1920s, and the student body would be consolidated into nearby Bunker Hill. Now all that remains of this community is the spring, of course, itself, and the cemetery grounds and the rebuilt United Methodist Church. And today, we're going to take you to both. The church has had more than 100 pastors in its history, and although they no longer hold regular services, they do still have homecoming once a year where they take up a fund to help care for the cemetery grounds. Unfortunately, as you'll see in a minute, vandalism is one of the things that the caretakers of the church have to watch out for now, although vandalism is what allowed us a peek inside. So unfortunately, as we see where windows were boarded up on the other side and on this side, there is a reason for that. As we have a newly broken window, unfortunate, even here in small town Tennessee, that kind of thing goes on. What, what Beautiful what? inside. Oh yeah, his ceiling and everything, it's all stripped of wood. So even though it's a shame the window is broken out, it did give us the ability to see inside. All right, Lori, I'm gonna hoist you in. No, I don't think so. Yep. <laughs> it's your contribution to the vlog today. And although this isn't the original church, it has had a long history with many pastors, uh, the governor coming through, as was mentioned before, and it really is a beautiful church. I'm glad we were able to see it through this window, even though I'm upset that it was broken. But I, I wish we could have gone into the building itself so that you could see just how beautiful it is. And one of the things that I'm thinking about the whole time is we need to tell somebody about this window. And thankfully, before we had even left, somebody came along and we were able to point it out. I've been to homecomings here, to weddings of family members. Even though the church is not in regular operation, it still is a very important part of our community. And now we'll journey across the street to the Bee Spring Cemetery, which at one time was the location of the cemetery and the original church, which set about middle of the area here. And we're going to see a lot of interesting graves and pay our respects.
And there's the drone. Hello. I'm filming you filming me. Now this stone right here just says Stevenson, and this is actually a stone in place of where the pulpit was of the original church, which was over here in the beginning until it was destroyed and eventually replaced by what you see over there. This is erected in the memory of Reverend Elam Stevenson. Does this say nearly 62 years a minister, I think? He was of the gospel. He was pure in heart and life that's nice i like that and then if we come around to the other side we have the information for his wife lydia now we're getting into the really old part of the cemetery as you can see Now this is one of my favorites right here. Some of the original graves so that dated back to the early 1800s were like this. This is a burial pattern that was brought over from Scotland and Ireland, which was the ancestry of many of the people that made a life here in Bee Springs. So this next little bit of video in this image that I'm showing you right now is the home that Lori's great great grandparents used to live in. The voice that you're going to hear in a second is that of Lori's mom. I went in, it wasn't time. Yeah, but don't you roll this window down? Okay. No, it's good. Right. How old would you say this? I don't know, but mama will continue. Thank you. 